Hi everyone, thanks for tuning back in. Thank you for joining us again. We're glad to be back. It's been a few months since we've been up doing videos. This is our very first video in our brand new, well, I wouldn't say brand new, the room has been here, but it's just remodeled. So this is our new game room slash studio. And so right now I have my game topper sitting on top of the table. The camera's on the other end right now. But there's enough room, I think, that we can actually rotate this table this way. But that's beside the point. But today we actually got to do an unboxing video. And you may be able to see down here what it is. Maybe not. I don't know yet. However, in light of us coming back on finally after doing so much work, we have some giveaways. However, we aren't going to say what the giveaways are yet. Ooh, so it's going to be interesting. So you have to see the end of the video or at different parts of the video too. All right? So the game that we're going to be unboxing today is this little heavy box here, Dinosaur Island. Basically, in this game, you're making your own little dinosaur park where horrible things can go wrong. Mm. Or you're trying to, I think you're trying to make sure that other people's parks have problems. You know, like T-Rex is getting out of their pen, or people getting hurt. I don't know, that's what I've heard. But the only way to find out is first we have to get in this box, learn how to play it, and go from there. So, no further ado, let's open this box in our brand new game studio. All right, Alex, would you like to do the honors and pop the seal? Sure. All right, so let's flip this over and pop it open. If I can do it. I might not be able to. Oh, there we go. Let's zoom in some more. Hurry now, hurry now. The people are waiting to see what's in this oh, box. Oh, I know. All right, there. All right, so let's open it up. First off, we have the rule book 2.0. So I'm wondering what was wrong with the first edition. And then I like the way that it's printed. It looks like it's on like an old computer. So like if anyone remembers Jurassic Park and the computers that were on there, those were pretty old. And there's a little DNA guy, different dinosaurs. And so even though the wording looks cool, I think they should have done something a little bit different with the background because just looking at it, it looks like it's going to be hard on my eyes. And I'll hold it up so you know what I'm talking about. Looks kind of stalish, you know, it's stale. Very blah. But it's got some really good, bright, vibrant pictures, though. Yeah. A lot of meebles. All right, so it's made by Panasaurus Games. Want more? Get the Totally Liquid Edition. So I might end up picking that up depending if we like this game. So here is a little panel of chits and pop-outs. So we can do the pop-out test. Alex, you want to pop one out real fast? That's not real fast. Oh, I'm sorry. That's fast. <laughs> so that popped out pretty good. It didn't tear the paper. So want to try another one? Yeah, put some force into it. There you go. All right, so not bad. We got a lot of chits. Ooh, there's the parks on the other side. Mm -hmm. DNA refinement. And so this game has looked totally cool. I get totally from the totally liquid. Mm -hmm. But the game itself looked beautiful when I seen it being played. And so I figured I need to give this a shot because it's got some hype. more parks 
And I'm guessing these are the different categories. <clears throat> these are the different categories. But they all look like they have the same. So it looks like dining. This would be um, Souvenir. souvenirs. And you have amusements, like rides and stuff. So maybe they, they all have the same symbols. So I'm not sure. I need to read the rule book. Here we go. Look at these awesome play boards. Oh my goodness. They actually have little, um, I won't call them indents, but they're slotted. You can actually put little chits in them or little wooden blocks if they have them. And they have meeples, and I'm kind of disappointed because they're plastic. I would much rather have a wooden meeple. Hmm. But they look nice. You got red, blue, green. Okay, rain meeples. And they got smaller little meeples, pink and yellow. Huh. You want to look at them? Yeah. Now, I'm hoping that these are wood, because everything else was plastic. I think they're plastic. They are plastic. <laughs> What the heck? I'm not impressed. I mean, they look nice. Don't get me wrong. I was so hoping for wooden meeples. Wooden meeples are definitely better than plastic ones. Yeah, they last longer. They don't break or get bent. Um, but okay. Maybe I can find a replacement for wood parts. Okay. Because I always thought that they came with wood meeples, but maybe they always came with plastic, I don't know. So there's one player board, two, three, four. And each board gets one of these, I do believe. Oh, that's the point tracker. Oh, maybe not. I'm not sure what these are. Phase one. Maybe those are like the actual Gil crop. Uh, amusement park. May, uh, maybe, maybe these are where you, you know, you actually build your own thing. There. It's got a nice, nice bag. That is a really nice bag. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Now look at these nice dice. Those are huge. Look at those things. They look like ember. Yeah, like the thing that mosquitoes were in. Check it out. Yeah, and they have a little like DNA symbol on it. And little plastic blocks instead of little wooden ones. I feel that plastic's always cheaper. And I actually got this game with using in-store credit, but like the place that was selling it was selling it for like a lot, close to 80. And so I feel like I got robbed paying that much for a game that gave me plastic meeples. And so maybe in the comments below, you can tell me if they, the first edition came with plastic, okay? But, I mean, they, they look nice, don't get me wrong, right? And I, I thought there would be different dinosaur tokens, you know? But, let's give away our first game. And so the first game we're going to give away is... Monster My Neighbor. This is a Z-Man game. It's kind of a social deduction game. And so, in the comments below... I want you to say Z-Man Me. Okay? Z-Man Me. And I will go through those and randomly select one subscriber to win Monster My Neighbor. Alright? So, let's look at some of these cards. Okay? So, Alex, you want to open those up? Yeah. There's a little tab right here. Oh, I see it. Maybe. Right. 
So I'll flip it over and let's look at the backs of them. So it's a plot twist. Here, let me see it. So I show the camera. All right, so let's see. We have change to setup. Huh. Dinosaur solo. Oops. Solo, solo, solo. So what are these cards? So what's the ones that says solo? So I don't know if that's for solo play, which I didn't think so because I think Totally Liquid comes with stuff to solo, but I'm not sure. Can't remember correctly. And then we have specialties, or sorry, special list here. So let's see. You have a Union Boss sitting there playing with uh, dinosaurs. And we have a uh, senior scientist holding an egg. And we have security guard number three. Yeah, he looks like he's armed for war. He's not a security guard. And we have a security guard number two. Now that guy looks like a security guard. See? Yeah. And security guard number one. His name is Juan. Get it? Juan? Juan? <laughs> yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Sales manager. Okay, so that's some specialty cards there. Sorry, specialist cards there. So we'll drop these into this little slot here. And then we'll open up the next one. Yeah, but stop! Let's give away another game. Okay. Gotta be kidding me. Hmm, so what should they put in the comments below to earn or win? You gotta be kidding me. Hmm. How about bow tie me, Mr. Big Stuff? Because there's a kitty with a little pink bow tie. So bow tie me, Mr. Big Stuff is going to get you entered to win a copy of You Gotta Be Kidding Me. This is a fun, fun little party game. Mm -hmm. And so where it's uh, bluffing. You're bluffing the whole time, trying to get people to outsmart you, in a sense. So like if you have a bunch of blue cards that have a bunch of blue symbols, like blue hats, blue ties, blue glasses, you would try to aim low and then start bluffing high or try to bluff in a way that makes a person think that you don't have it, the way they get out and not you. It's an awesome game. Actually, I have another video of us showing how to play this game. So go look for that game of You Gotta Be Kidding Me if you're interested in knowing how this is played. But, bow tie me, Mr. Big Stuff. All right? All right, go ahead. No more surprises? Nope. Or are there? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. What's the back of that card say? Objective. So. Okay, objective, yeah. There's some other cards back here too. Plot twists, some more plot twists. Objectives. Yeah. So that's what some of those plot twists look like. Some of the objectives. So, let's clean this up. Put the dice back in a bag. And we'll take it back up top once we get everything back in the box just to see how it goes back in. Kind of give you something else to think about. So those can go there. These can go there. I'll actually, drop those in there. Let's move those. I'm kind of really hoping for different meeples, like different dinosaur meeples. So. Oh, there's one more die. I'll just throw it in there. And I'll throw that in there just because.
You want to drop that down? Um, yeah, huh. I that there's a split in the box. So I didn't recognize that when I bought it. But anyways, all right, let's take it back. So, out. thank you for tuning in to another unboxing with Daniel the Paladin and Alex the Rogue. Rogue. And we are the Christian Adventure Gamers. And again, we're excited to be able to do our first video in our game room slash studio. And so I think we'll just call it the game room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll call it studios other time. I don't know. Anyways, but we have one more giveaway. It's a bigger giveaway. This one is definitely something. It is this big box right here. Queen Games Dark, Darker, Darkest. This game looks really cool. I would actually be tempted to open it and play it myself. Mm -hmm. But my cousin has this game. Zach. Oh, yeah. And so I don't want to open this up when I could actually give this to somebody that could have that experience of opening a brand new game. Okay? So this plays 2 to 5 for ages 12 and up. And it says an hour and 20 minutes. So I'm guessing that means per scenario. Hopefully that doesn't mean per player. But it's a very heavy box. It's big. And so the way to enter into this drawing is we're going to post this video on our Facebook page. Okay? And go to the Facebook page and post your silliest zombie meme. Not scariest. Silliest. So post your silliest zombie meme and we'll pick one of those memes, and if there's a tie, we'll go with who posted it first. Okay, so the one with the most funniest meme wins dark, darker, darkest. And I can either mail it to you, or I can give it to you if you go to Gen Con. I can hand deliver it to you. Alright, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah.